All right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight in Vegas. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. And now, for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds for the USC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now it's when you see the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at a Suara Para Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Davison Donaguerra Figueroa. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Really timing.
calling his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. What a punch. Big head kick lands. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. She has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, big left hook there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Let me see some combos. Ooh, what a punch. Slips the punch. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice kick. Keep grinding, get that takedown. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. And just misses with that big right hand. Ooh, blocks the shot. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. Try to establish that jab. Single collar tie now. Oh, just misses with the kick. Connects with a right. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And there comes the separation now. Nice body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder round. Get over when he throws that kick. Able to check the high kick. All right, he closes. Oh, big defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Powerful leg kick lands. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, round two. 
Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, huge block! All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control the fight. Just oh. don't have a fight. Jack. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds at round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon Lee. Oh, take my money, DC. We got a new UFC lightweight champion. This is a belt that doesn't always change hands very often. There's a new king at 155 pounds. The most exciting moment in sports when Dana White wraps the belt around a new champion's yes. waist. Take a moment, son. Breathe it in. You are now the best fighter in the world.